Hi everyone. Today, I just wanted to touch base on the Sundancer poplar. We here have at the farm. I have mature ones that we've grown for about eight years. Spectacular columnar tree has a wider spread than a Swedish columnar aspen. Completely disease resistant. It's just an amazing tree. The Sundancer poplar, one of my favorite poplars that I've been growing for over 20 years. I wanted to show you some mature trees that we planted about 10 feet tall eight years ago, and now they're 32, 33 feet tall. First couple of years, we watered them regularly. And for the last six years, with five years of drought, we haven't touched these trees at all. No branch issues, no disease. They're really, really resistant to bronze leaf and septoria canker. Just a winner of a tree for, for the prairies, for the small yard. Uh, the root system is incredibly fibrous. You can plant it closer to homes. It's not like your typical poplar tree. It's a male. It doesn't get that fluff or cotton that people may expect when you hear the word poplar. Things have changed over the years, 25, 30 years. Uh, they remember poplars that have, you know, take over septic fields and backyards and crack foundations. That's not the case anymore. And there's many proven varieties that have done so well drought resistant, disease resistant. Talking again about watering and growth rates. What I've experienced with this tree growing for 20 years, when we get into dry conditions like we've had for the last five years, the trees behind me here, the sun dancers, have got no water for the last six years and we've had literally six years of dry conditions. The tree just started to slow down and the leaves stayed vibrantly green. It just didn't grow that much. We had uh, uh, some wet years previously to that and the tree starts growing fast. So it grows by the rate, kind of like humans, you know, the more we eat, the fatter we get. And so that's what that, <laughs> that's what this tree does. If we don't have the food, we're, we're gonna be going skinny. It's learned how to adapt to very wet conditions, very dry conditions, and be successful in between. Like other poplars, they call for water all the time. Faster growing trees need lots of water. And this particular tree takes it either way. You like lots of water, great. Well, I'm gonna grow fast. I like it when there's no water at all. I don't like to feed it water. I have good drainage, we have fairly good drainage, and drainage is key with any tree but you want that water to pass through. So Sundance is a winner to me. I mean, we, we have many other poplars that we'll talk about that I also like. This is beginning to be my favorite. Thank you.